Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Um, this winter is really getting to me, the cold weather. It's, um, yeah, but the weather is so cold so I decided to make um, some kopai. Some kopai, I'm gonna use the cocoa, the palangi cocoa, not the cocoa samu. I'll use plain flour to make a puka. We add a bit of um, sago. The tapioca cycle and a bit of coconut cream and some condensed milk very cheap very cheap to make um, I know all the uh, uh, salmons like the the um, go by with the cocoa <laughs> cocoa salmon but um, I want something different because um, the cocoa salmon you know, mixed with the cocoa it seems to give me the heartburns so I think I'm gonna try the balani cook to make our puka with you know that that sounds really good. <laughs> puka puka means um like dumplings, yeah, like um flour dumplings into our sweet um food. Okay, blah blah blah. That's our cookie. Got a stove here ready to go. Okay. Okay, so I got two um, liters of water in here, half a cup of sago, so the yogurt pearls, and keep giving the stir now and then while I'm making our making our puka, a dumpling from the cocoa, you know, plain flour. Okay, put it aside and make our puka. Guys, welcome back. Uh, here's uh, some flour. We're gonna add like two cups. Well, go by. Now go by, book. Book go by. Maybe two and a half cups. Here's some cocoa. Or like a cup of cocoa in it. And put as much you want guys. Mix it all up. The more you make, the more you put in. Raw sugar. Three tablespoons. And a half, yeah. Mix it all in, guys. Oh, it smells good, that cocoa. A bit more cocoa. I like that cocoa in there. It's a chocolate. Okay, I'll get a bit of water now. I've had some water guys, just tap water, no more water, a little bit at a time. Gonna mix it all in. That's it. Thick and sticky. Chocolate. <laughs> That's it guys. Hey guys, our cycle. Look, it's starting to have the clearance around the, the little balls. That means it's half cooked, half getting there. Okay, we're gonna add our hookah, dumpling. Turn it down. On low, yeah. Dip your spoon in that water. Then I'll pick you when you're cooking coal pie. Try to make it round, but oh well.
and I'll try to do this quick so it's going to be a different size and shape but it doesn't matter Try to make it round. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be a sala for laffa. A little bit. Get a spoon and give it a little stir. So it doesn't stuck on the bottom. People always ask, what's the mesh to up a little bit? Look at that puka guys. Uh, dumpling. I turn the stuff a little bit up. Once you get going with this, you'll keep going and you're easier as it goes. We all know how to make gopai, aren't we? But gopai come in all different styles. But I'm sick of the plain puka. So, just add some cocoa. You can even add milo here, the guys, on a... It's up to you. I love the milo one too. Little chocolate, little chocolate bolos. I don't think I can finish off the this tray. You can sing along while you are um, doing your go by, and this is beautiful just for the look. The cycle's cooking, and it's the same as our dumplings, our hookah. Look guys, all gone. And it's all in there. And see why I put a half a bottle of uh, water? Because when you add a poker go by, it, um, it goes up. That looks just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep cooking it until the the poker go by and uh, the cycle um, cook properly. I'll be back. Guys, see the fluff on top? Take it off. Mm -hmm. So we can reveal our uh, 
Look at the cycle shirt. It's shiny like little. Diamonds in the sky. Yeah. You're beautiful like a diamond in the sky. I don't know if I'm singing the right words, but oh well. It's a spirit. I have to go by. <laughs> Okay. From this moment, we had our lemon leaves. I got heaps of lemon leaves. When you pick the lemon leaves, don't pick the one is um, soft. The new ones, pick the old ones. And um, are the lemon leaves or the what do you call? Or the lemongrass? Mm -hmm. They'll give a really beautiful flavor on our go by. Oh no, coco palangi copai. <laughs> no, I'm just having fun doing this, guys. It's fun. Oh, I turn it down so I spray my face. Bastard. Keep cooking. Give it a stir now and then. And when it's cooked, those you take those lemon leaves off because when they overstay in there, when they overstay in there, they are, oh, that's a joke. When they overstay in there, they sort of, um, what do you call? Soaky. I don't know. Like poison or something. I'm gonna add our condensed milk. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's good. Add a whole tin. Give it a sweetness and another little bit of extra flavor in there. You don't have to use this, you just use sugar. But I prefer this, I like it with the cocoa. Because with it, um, Cocoa butter, cocoa powder. Yeah. Usually add a bit of flour in there to thicken up, but I don't need it because I've got a cycle in there and I've got a. Yeah, look at that creamy chocolate. You ready, guys? Give it another five minutes. Guys, I'll just add uh, two tablespoons of. Um, cocoa powder in a bowl and then um, a bit of warm water melt it off and back into our cocoa just a bit of more cocoa on it mm -hmm. I don't need to add any flowers in there. Look at how beautiful that is. The color and uh, and the shining of our what do you call tapioca pearls? Our uh, cycle. Okay, bring it back to the boil and it'll be done. Perfect. Okay, I see the coconut cream. Oh, there's a jump there. So it's just very cold, I put this under the hot water. When I cook, I wash my hands like I swear like a hundred times uh, each cook. Gotta be careful, keep wetting your hands over and over and over. But that's how it is when you cook. You always touch things, you always make sure it's clean, you wash the cans, see the cans. I don't wash it that much, the labels fall. <laughs> okay, guys, and it's beautiful and perfect sweet for that one tin of um, contents milk. Okay. You're beautiful like a diamond in the sky. Call by. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, guys. We gotta bring it to the back to the boil. 
Once the purples come up, then turn it off and let it settle for a while before you enjoy. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the food we're about to receive. Please bless this food to give us strength and good health. And bless this food for us to keep us warm. Please bless our families, bless our YouTube families and all their families. Bless us all today and let your spirits be with us in the name of your Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, it's a perfect time for this call by guys. Mm. Oh, beautiful. It's very it's creamy. It's tasty. It tastes like chocolate. <laughs> what a beautiful chocolate, man. Shut it, Nick. Mmm. Oh, yeah. If you don't have the, the cocoa powder, you can use um, the Milo. Milo is even better. Oh, it's about the same. Oh, see how puka is not um, just plain white. It's chocolate. Mm. Mm. Chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful cycle in there. Mm. Oh my gosh, somebody's walking past with no shirt on in the freezing cold weather. Oh well. They'll really warm your soul up. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to keep eating in um, my go by. And I hope you, um, you're having a good week and a blessed weekend. And a blessed week ahead. This is very easy and cheap to make. You know, for your family in a cold weather. Or even in a hot weather. Just get something to wipe your sweat. Mm. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I think of something nice to cook. Next maybe it's sunday okay love you all and um god bless stay safe and keep warm those uh in america keep cool everything okay